In this video, I'm going to be telling you about a running shoe from Under Armour that I actually like. What is up, everybody, and welcome to very upbeat sort of 40 runs HQ because yes we have found an Under Armour shoe that's not useless. Yeah I've not been a big fan of Under Armour running shoes um, they tend to be uh, either overpriced or terrible and they only give them to sort of people on Instagram uh, and that sort of thing they're the only people who run in Under Armour shoes but anyway let's get the negativity out of the way because I've actually found an Under Armour running shoe that's actually all right. Okay, people, so here it is, the Velocity number three. Now, they used to call this, I think it was the Velocity Wind or something like that. But this has received a bit of a makeover, a bit of an update, and do you know what? It's actually okay. Right, okay, so the Under Armour Velocity three. This is a sort of, um, a daily trainer, but moving towards up-tempo, let's say. Um, it's a nice lightweight shoe. It's actually coming in at 9.3 ounces. It's 135 pounds. You've got the flow uh, midsole, which then goes down to the outsole. Let me get rid of that because of the lighting. You've got uh, a sort of flat knit upper that's Guss at your tongue, yes, but it feels very much a one-piece construction. Uh, plenty of foam around the heel to make it nice and comfortable. Uh, what's the stack height? No, the uh, drop on it. Eight mil drop. Uh, that's what I wanted to know. But yeah, overall, this is a say, sort of daily training with a hint of sort of speedier stuff to it. So a good comparison, this would be the Nova Blast 3, Hoka Mac 5, that kind of shoe, I would say. Uh, but it probably picks up some of the work from, you know, like even like a Pegasus 40, for example. Uh, but yeah, 9 point, was it, 9.3 ounces, which is 260 grams, which I think is kind of awesome. And it actually feels a bit lighter than that. Um, so yes, so where do we start? Let's do things I like about it in this quick review. So the things I like about it is the weight. I like the uh, feeling of the flow midsole. Uh, I really enjoy it in terms of comfort, but also responsiveness. It feels, um, and I think some of this is to do with the EVA uh, sock liner in the shoe. It just feels like, mm, I wouldn't say responsive, but it just, it's got a nice balance of comfort and responsiveness. I think it works well with the upper, although the upper is one of the main downfalls, I'll come on to that, but it, it just works with the lockdown and the over fit and feel of the shoe it just feels comfortable and and very easy to run in it's a shoe that can pick up daily miles very easily which i have found the outsole has been fine um again i'm not doing a particularly good job with the lighting today but the outsole has been fine uh they've got no issues in terms of slip sliding around or anything like that i think it actually looks all right as well which is good uh but it fits true to size which is good and uh, yeah and the overall feeling of the shoe is a real positive for it i was i was genuinely shocked how much I liked the ride of this shoe. Now, things I don't like, I don't like 135 pounds, but this shoe's gonna get discounted down because realistically, who's actually gonna buy it? And secondly, I don't like the upper because it's warm. It is, it's one of those flat knit uppers which tend to get very warm. Uh, and that's the only thing with it. Now, I think this shoe would suit you if you're going to the gym. Oh, I think this shoe would suit you if you're doing park run. I think this shoe would suit you if you're looking for a shoe that can do multiple disciplines. I think that's where the shoe comes into its own. It's a good alternative to a Pegasus 40. Now, I'm not saying this is better than a Pegasus, but I'm saying it's a good alternative. And it is a surprising shoe for Under Armour because, as I said, the rest of their shoes are terrible. And when I say terrible, I'm talking about the daily trainers and those sort of shoes. They don't uh, send me the uh, the racing shoes. I think they're too afraid of what I'd say about them. But I base this on the daily trainers and things like that. The, the other shoes in the, in the range aren't very good at all. But I really like this. I just think, in terms of simplicity, in terms of being able to do multiple things, like I said, treadmill, go out, three miles, park run, six miles, 10K, whatever you want to do, I think this is a shoe from Under Armour that actually hits the spot. So fair play to them, and that's why I wanted to highlight it with this video, because I give them a hard time. I actually think they've put a shoe together here with this updated flow midsole that's actually all right. So there we go, that's surprising, isn't it? You thought I'd hate on it, yeah? But no, it's actually all right, people. The, the, the Velocity 3 is not a bad daily trainer. It really is not. So again, it's that multifunction shoe. It's not an out and out running shoe, but it's not disappointing. It's not terrible. It doesn't feel dead. It doesn't feel like, you know, concrete under your feet. It feels all right, and it feels like a running shoe. And that, I think, is the important thing. So if you're a fan of Under Armour, you might want to pick them up. But yeah, there we go. Pleasantly surprised by the Velocity 3. 